You know what those marshes remind me of? It's like Mordor, isn't it? You know, when Frodo and all that lot have to cross the marshes. What are those marshes called? The marshes in Lord of the Rings. Oh. Yeah, well, I don't know what the name. I'm going to check the temperature, Archie. Can you reach it? Here's a top tip for you. Get yourself your GoPro. Get a regular, hang on a minute. Let me just fucking put the thing. Okay, this isn't working very well. <laughs> Shit. Here's a top tip for you. Look, get yourself a regular GoPro helmet curved mount. Is we're gonna cut a cable tie sized horizontal slice parallel slice out of the uh, sticky foam here can you see and then what you do is you get yourself a bit of plastic this is actually from Holland and Barrett I'm not sponsored by Holland and Barrett and this may be an old rewards card I'm not sure but anyway you get yourself a bit of plastic you cut the plastic to the size of the uh, of the mount and then you stick the plastic onto the sticky back what I've done is I've actually crossed it you see there's a cross there cross there I didn't realise I'd done that, but there we go. Yeah, so you end up with a with something like this, and then you can get yourself a cable tie and actually thread the cable tie through the hole, like so. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one hand. It's actually really, really difficult. There we go. And then you put your GoPro onto that mount, which I'll try and do one-handed, which is, again, it's really... Am I doing this right? No, nope. I'm doing this back to front. There we go. And there you have it. A mount that you can use a cable tie with. I use this loads. I probably use this the most out of all the mounts. And I just cable tie it to whatever I fancy. You can usually get around something. But you can make a flat one as well. This is a curved mount, but you can use your flat mounts. There we go. Top tip of the day there, boys. She's a beauty.